Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for Advancement and External Relations at Tarleton State University, and I would like to extend a big Tarleton Texan welcome to everyone from Sundance Square in beautiful downtown Fort Worth, where the West begins. It's a great pleasure to, to bring all of you together here in the heart of Fort Worth, where Tarleton has a long but quiet history. I see many Tarleton State University students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends in the audience today. During today's program, various speakers will recognize many of our honored guests. Please know that we are delighted to have each of you here today. Some of our most distinguished guests are on stage today. During today's press conference, we will hear from Tarleton State University President F. Dominic Gattavio, Texas A&M University System Chancellor, Mr. John Sharp, Bill Doherty, Chief Executive Officer of Walton Global Investments Limited, the Honorable Betsy Price, Mayor of Fort Worth, City Councilman from District 6, the Honorable Jungus Jordan, as well as the Honorable Representative Craig Goldman from House District 97. It is well documented that Tarleton State University is the second fastest growing university in the state of Texas with over 10,000 students. And that Tarleton is one of the best educational values in the state. This strategic growth by design and focus on affordable access to a high quality education is directly attributable to the leadership of one man. To kick off today's announcement, I'd like to bring to the podium the man who leads our university and embodies Tarleton's core values, integrity, leadership, tradition, civility, excellence, and service. The 15th president of Tarleton State University, Dr. F. Dominic Gattavia. Good morning and thanks to Kyle. Thanks to all of you for being here. I want to say a special thank you to our elected officials, our community leaders, the Tarleton faculty, staff, and students that are here, and all the friends of the university. Thank you for being here to celebrate what is an historic day in the history of Tarleton State University. Over 115 years of history as a university, 98 of which have been as a very proud member of the Texas A&M University system. Mayor Price and many others here in the audience are aware that Tarleton is not new to Fort Worth because we've been offering courses here since the 1970s. What many of you may not know though is that Tarleton's largest number of students actually come from Tarrant County and attend the Stephenville campus. Today we have the distinction of being the only public university awarding bachelor's degrees in Fort Worth. We have over 40 undergraduate, graduate, and certification programs at three sites in the city, and we've been growing very rapidly, over 90% in the last five years. We've clearly learned that the citizens of Fort Worth and Tarrant County have room in their hearts for another purple and white university. <laughs> Today we are announcing a transformational gift to Tarleton that expands opportunities for higher education, builds a stronger workforce for the employers, and improves the quality of life for the citizens of this community. I'm delighted to announce that the Walton Group of Companies has donated 80 acres of land on which we will build a new home for Tarleton State University, Fort Worth. Now, we are enormously grateful to Walton CEO Bill Doherty and Walton South USA President John Vick and their associates for the generous, generous donation of land to build this campus. Through the help of Councilman Jungus Jordan and former mayor and North Texas Tollway Authority Board Chairman Kenneth Barr, we are partnering with the City of Fort Worth 
NTTA and the Walton Group to make this happen along the new Chisholm Trail Parkway. We also deeply appreciate our legislators and our partners whose vision recognizes education as the doorway to economic development and community success. I want to give a special thank you to Representative Craig Goldman, Senator-elect Connie Burton, who by the way, her daughter graduated from Tarleton just in, the, in May, whose districts will serve as our new home for the campus. Also a special thank you to our Senator from Stephenville, Craig Estes, and Chairman Charlie Guerin, who have both been very, very supportive of making this happen. With the help of all of our friends in the state legislature, we hope to secure funding for our first building for the campus in the upcoming legislative session. Well, you know, Sundance Square is the right place for this event. Not only do we have this fabulous mural of the Chisholm Trail behind us, but it certainly has seen its share of celebrations. It's a familiar drop, backdrop for ESPN's coverage of the Super Bowl, the NCAA Basketball Final Four, and the upcoming NCAA Football National Championships. Now I know the hometown team, team the Horned Frogs, were ever so close. We certainly take comfort, and I know everybody in Fort Worth does, that it, they shined a very bright light on Fort Worth for a fabulous season. I expect most of you from Fort Worth that know that George Strait asked this question a number of years ago. Does Fort Worth ever cross your mind? <clears throat> well, let me tell you, at Tarleton, it does every single day. We have been working for a number of years to make this happen. And I'll tell you, one of the things that we truly love about Fort Worth is it prides itself on being typically Texan beginning as a frontier outpost and growing into the biggest small town around. And I will tell you this, I have told everyone that will listen to me over the years that I've been in Texas that Fort Worth is the best city in the country. <clears throat> Mayor Weldon from Stephenville, that's the best big city. <laughs> Tarleton has a similar story. We too are typically Texan. Indeed, our mascot is the Tarleton Texan. And I want you to know, we had the Texan as mascot before Houston did for their football team. And we're very privileged to have in the front row, former Mayor Mike Moncrief, who was our first Tarleton Texan mascot. Thank you for being here, Mayor. <laughs> The Tarleton story began from a Tarleton, from a rancher's belief that those of humble circumstances should have access to higher education. It was that belief that led to the creation of John Tarleton College in Stephenville back in 1899. Today, Tarleton is a comprehensive university approaching 12,000 students with a global presence and research programs that benefit the state, the nation, and indeed the world. Yet Tarleton is defined by our students, both past and present, as a friendly, nurturing community, if you will, a small, big town. Tarleton Texans are very proud to be a part of this community, and we look forward to being a larger part of the Fort Worth landscape. We're also very proud to be a member of the Texas A&M system and have been since 1917. The system is a remarkable collection of 11 state universities, seven agencies, and a comprehensive health science center. It's one of the largest educational systems in the nation with over 131,000 students. At the helm of that remarkable system is a remarkable man Chancellor John Sharp, who has been one of our most avid supporters for an expanded presence here in Fort Worth. As an undergraduate at Texas A&M, 
Chancellor Sharp was the student body president, and I doubt that way back then he could ever imagine being the chancellor of such a remarkable system. He has more than three decades of public service as an elected state representative, a state senator, and two terms as a state controller. We are so honored that he has joined us today for this landmark occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chancellor of the A&M System, John Sharp. Is it warm enough? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Dominic, and it's wonderful to be here, and uh, I am very excited. We try to put a new campus in Fort Worth every 12 months. Uh, we put a law school here about a year ago, and uh, now this campus, God knows what's gonna happen a year from now. Uh, but we're very excited to be here uh, on behalf of the Texas A&M system uh, to be a part of this. I'm not near as excited though as my daughter, Victoria. Connie Burton and I have this in common. We both have gladiators. We both have children adopted from uh, Edna Gladney. Uh, and she considers and will tell everybody that her hometown uh, is Cowtown, is Fort Worth. She's not from Austin or Victoria like the rest of us. She's from Fort Worth. And she believes that uh, we ought to have a campus here every six months uh, instead of a year. So she's only texted me four times this morning to tell me, don't mess this deal up. Uh, so it's good to be here with all of you representing the uh, 11 university campuses which in the seven state agencies uh, that represent the Texas A&M system. Uh, each day I have the opportunity to see what our system universities are doing to encourage student growth and success and we know how important it is uh, to create new pathways to colleges for students to address the challenges they face uh, entering college from Texas schools. Tarleton State University has done a spectacular job throughout its life of meeting those challenges from providing and provoking innovative academic programs to ensuring students graduate with the ability and the desire to lead and serve our state. Our mission at the Texas A&M University System is really, really pretty simple. It is to take ordinary children and turn them into extraordinary Texans. And we think we do that very well. That is our ultimate responsibility, uh, to chart the strongest course for the A&M system that delivers the most benefit to Texas citizens, the nation, and the world. Last year, we brought Texas A&M to the area with the establishment as I mentioned of the A&M University College of Law, and now with the generous contributions from donors such as the Walton Group of Companies, Bill Darty, CEO John Vick, President USA South, and the support of our state legislators that are here, we will be able to continue to provide the best education to the state, to our students by establishing another campus for Stalton State University. It is our hope and our prayer, of course, that the legislature will see fit uh, to appropriate the money in the tuition revenue bond system uh, to build this, this campus and we uh, expect and, 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 and will do everything we can to, to support that effort and we thank them for their commitment. We also thank you Mayor Price and Councilman Jordan with the City of Fort Worth for your support in this endeavor and thank you Mr. Barr with the North Texas Toll or Mayor Barr with the North Texas Toll Authority for your efforts in making this infrastructure a reality. Dr. Tavio, I applaud your leadership and your vision, and we look forward to creating in Tarrant County and in Fort Worth another great educational institution. God bless all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chancellor Sharp. Thank you for your leadership of the Texas A&M University system and for being with us today. As Chancellor Sharp mentioned, we have state, several state legislators with us today that I'd like to recognize. First on stage, Representative Craig Goldman. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Senator-elect Connie Burton. I believe she was going to be here today. I have not seen her. Uh, Senator Craig Estes. Senator, thank you, thank you for being here. <laughs> Chairman. Char Charlie Guerin was supposed to be here today as well. I have not seen him, but uh, we sure do thank him for his efforts to help us uh, with this campus. He has been instrumental. Uh, Senator Kelly Hancock here in the fr front row. Senator, thank you for being here. <laughs> Representatives Jonathan Stickland and Bill Zedler. 
Thank you for your support. And I would also like to mention uh, we have two former mayors with us. Ken Barr, thank you for being here. MTTA chairman, as well as Mike Moncrief. Thank you so much. We at Tarleton know that Walton CEO Bill Doherty exemplifies success as an international businessman. He has been responsible for Walton's growth for nearly two decades and is central to Walton's strategic direction and expansion directing the launch of Walton's Asian, U.S., and European operations. He leads with a pioneering spirit and grows Walton's good works by building relationships and alliances to create better and stronger communities. He has put education at the heart of the Walton Group's development in Fort Worth. I'm proud to bring to the podium Bill Doherty, Chief Executive Officer of Walton Global Investments Limited. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, it is uh, an honor and a privilege to be here today before you uh, with, uh, with this great, great endeavor. Um, I had the opportunity to meet with uh, Dr. Richardson, Dr. McGregor, and Dr. Reinerson last June here in Fort Worth. And they proposed the idea of us donating land to, uh, to Tarleton University. And after the meeting, my colleague, John Vick, uh, the president of our Texas operation, um, and I met and I said, this is a no-brainer. We have to do this. And I asked John to go and get this done. And here we are today, six months later, and we've, uh, we're now working in partnership and moving forward to educate the young. And that's what it's all about. So congratulations, everybody. Mayor Price, uh, Council Member uh, Jordan, and, and Repres Representative Goldman, uh, thank you very much for being here today and being so supportive in this endeavor. Um, as Walton, we are excited to be doing business in Fort Worth. Um, I met with uh, Council uh, uh, Member uh, Jordan six months ago, and I walked out of that meeting, and I said to my colleagues, this is why Texas is so successful. They're open for business. Everybody has a can-do attitude, and if we could bottle this up and take this to other parts of this country and Canada, it would just make it a better world. I really mean that. It's ironic um, that we're doing this today. Um, the Walton Group of Companies is a family-owned and operated business. It was founded by my mother, Maureen, and my father, Patrick, in, in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today is my mom's birthday. It's her 75th birthday. If you will indulge me, you'll understand why education is so important to the Walton Group of Companies and to my family specifically. My mother is the greatest, sweetest lady you will ever meet in your life. I mean that. She was born in Limerick, Ireland, and she was the middle child of 18 children. She had to stop working or stop going to school when she was 11 years old in order to support the family. She has a grade six education. She emigrated to Canada in 1958 and she met my father in, in Calgary, Alberta. And they married uh, one year later and like any good Irish Catholic family, they had four children in five years. <laughs> my father has a high school education and my mother and father instilled in me and my siblings the principles of getting an education, of doing the right thing, of success, setting goals and making plans in order to attain those goals. And it doesn't matter if you're in the real estate business, if you're running a university, an engineer, teacher, they instilled it in us and it permeates throughout our company. We are very proud to be working in this community. We're very proud to be associated with your university now let's move forward and build a great school. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill, for your vision and your generosity and for being with us today. As mentioned earlier, there are several additional honored guests in attendance today that have yet to be mentioned. We'd like to take a few minutes and take care of that now. 
From the City of War Fort Worth, City Councilman District 3, Zim Zimmerman, thank you for being with us today. <laughs> Former Mayor, Chairman of the NTTA, Kenneth Barr, thank you for being here again. <laughs> Tarrant County Judge, the Honorable Glenn Whitley, thank you, Judge. <laughs> From Ellis County Judge, the Honorable Carol Bush. Tommy Williams, former senator and vice chancellor for federal and state relations with the Texas A&M University system. Mr. John Vick, president of Walton South U.S. Thank you, John. Mr. Hadley Warner and Crystal, his wife, president of Frost Bank, Tarrant County. Thanks for being here, Hadley. Frost Bank is our corporate partner for today's events. Johnny Campbell, President and CEO of Sundance Square. Bill Thornton, President and CEO of the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce. Bill, thank you for being here. Bill told me just before the ceremony that he has a son graduating from Tarleton this weekend. So congratulations, Bill. Captain Gil Miller, Commander, Naval Air Station, Fort Worth, Joint Reserve Base. I'm not sure if Gil made it today. Gil also has a daughter at Tarleton right now. Uh, Mr. Pete Guerin, President and CEO of the Sid Richardson Foundation. Mr. Dwayne Mayfield, President of the Tarleton State University Foundation. Dwayne. Mike Cornegy, President of the Tarleton Alumni Foundation, or the Tarleton Alumni Association, excuse me. Thank you, Mike. Thank you all so much for being here today. And of course, our former, former mayor and uh, first Tarleton Texan writer, Mayor Mike Moncrief. Our next speaker is a dynamic leader with a love of her hometown a drive for creating connections and engaging citizens to make a difference, all with a unique charm that is 100% Fort Worth. Mayor Price envisions an active and healthy Fort Worth where educational opportunities abound. We look forward to her leading cycling events past the new campus along the Chisholm Trail Parkway. Absolutely. Maybe, okay, she says absolutely, good. <laughs> Tarleton is very pleased to be in Fort Worth, engaged in its growth and connected with Mayor Betsy Price. Good morning, everyone. Isn't this a great day in Fort Worth? It's an exciting time. President Davio, Chancellor Sharp, thank you for being here. Two A&M schools in Fort Worth in the last year. That's quite an accomplishment. But then this is not your normal city. We are a growing city on the rise, just as you said, President. We're a city, the best small town, big city in the nation, with the best living room, outdoor living room anywhere and recognized nationally. You know, Tarleton, you mentioned, Kyle, uh, bringing bike rides to your new campus. We'd be glad to do that, but we have a little connection with Tarleton. Tarleton is always the centerpiece on the Firecracker 100 bike ride that goes, used to go through the campus that we've done for years. It's a great place to be, and some of my earliest recollections of Tarleton my family is originally from Goldthwaite, Texas, and my cousins all went to Tarleton, and we would go up there when they had show cattle or horses to see them as we were going through to Goldthwaite. And Tarleton, indeed, has been in Fort Worth since 97, and they're a great partner for us, doing great things. But they also have wonderful partnerships with our community college, TCC, with Weatherford College, and Hill College that brings the best value for students who start at the community colleges and then want to go on to a four-year university. It's a great way for kids to avoid significant debt. They provide a value in secondary education for all students, and we're delighted to have them. Fort Worth now has three four-year university campuses, and we're delighted to add another campus. Everyone in this audience that's a public official or a business person knows the importance of education. 
Certainly, Bill Thornton from the Chamber understands it. When businesses come, they always ask us first about tax incentives, but they ask about the education of our workforce. And it's important that we have great options to increase the options and the ability for businesses to have an educated workforce. By adding Tarleton's new campus, we will increase the diversity of options for our citizens. It's an excellent resource for these kids. The average age of college students today, I found this hard to believe, but it's 31 years old, and 60% of college students are females, often with small children at home, and Tarleton continues to provide that excellence in what's now known as placebound or non-traditional students. Tarleton's program is designed to be flexible, where students can go at nights or on the weekends, offer great career opportunities for these non-traditional students. But speaking of that, the Walton Development and Management Group truly is an 88-acre gift. We appreciate that, Bill, so much. You can only imagine Bill's story about his mother. She truly must understand education, one of 18 children in a grade school education. I know how proud she must be to donate this gift and see Fort Worth increase. This will help bring the attention back to the city center to focus on schools. We're truly excited about the ability to expand education, not only for those who want a traditional four-year university, but for those who need a non-traditional education. And Tarleton will bring that. So go Tarleton. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Price, for being here today, as well as sharing those words with us and your continued support of Fort Worth and Tarleton. Council Member Jungus Jordan represents District 6 on the Fort Worth City Council and works tire tirelessly on many issues such as transportation and intercommunity cooperation. He also understands the importance of education to a civil society and is no stranger to higher education with experiences at TCU. Webster and Cornell. A driving force behind the Chisholm Trail Parkway in District 6, Councilman Jordan has been a champion for Tarleton's presence in Fort Worth and a steward as the university enters a new home in the city. Please join me in welcoming Tarleton's friend, Fort Worth City Council member, Jungus Jordan. Good morning. Uh, you know, as, as Kyle went around and introduced the audience, I think it's pretty obvious why we get things done in Fort Worth and why we get things done in Texas because everybody that wants to play shows up and we, nobody cares who gets the credit, we just get her done. And, uh, you know, I happen to think, like Mayor Price said, every day in Fort Worth's a great day. Some are just greater than others, and to, today's a great one uh, that we can all be proud of. Uh, Dr. Fittavio, you can never have enough purple. <laughs> ever we're gonna have plenty of purple in our city I knew this was gonna happen when I was visited the Tarleton State Campus and they showed me a tile uh, replica of the mascot on horseback and I said I know that guy and it was Mike Moncrief Senator Estes and I were talking earlier and just comparing notes and and I think we have the same speechwriter Senator Estes because we we talked about the the line in the preamble of the Constitution that says Every citizen of the United States has the responsibility to secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and posterity. And if you really think about it, uh, education is the only freedom that once you have it can never be taken away. And we are just honored and, and pleased uh, as the council and my colleagues. Uh, I think we have a quorum for the Senate today, Senator Estes, uh, so we can go ahead and take a vote if you'd like, uh, and uh, we'll get this one done. Uh, but uh, having an education of the quality of Tarleton State right in the district in southwest Fort Worth is going to change the, not only the, uh, the, the quality of jobs, the quality of development, but it's going to be something we're all proud of. We all talk about STEM, but Tarleton is going to bring those kinds of jobs, the STEM jobs, to uh, southwest Fort Worth, and we're proud to have those. So we look forward to working with everybody. and. Uh, uh, thank you for being here. It is, is an exciting day, and uh, again, uh, we cannot have enough purple. So, thank you. Thank you, Paul.
Craig Goldman serves the Texas House representing the 97th District, which encompasses Southwest Tarrant County. Representative Goldman is a conservative leader who stands on principle as he passionately represents the citizens of his district. His roots in Fort Worth go back four generations and he is a fifth generation Texan. We are proud to have his representation and support during the upcoming session and look forward to collaborating with him as Tarleton's new home in Fort Worth matures. Please give a big Tarleton Texan welcome to Representative Greg Goldman. Thank you all very much. Since I'm last, I promise I'll be brief so we can get back inside to the warm, uh, warmness. Um, it's a great day for Fort Worth. It's a great day for Tarleton, Dr. Tavio, and, and specifically a great day for House District 97. Um, selfishly, it's a great day for me because with Tarleton being purple, this is the second university that will come to House District 97. It'll certainly help me on my tie budget that everybody's purple. Um, but I do want to say, if you've been to Stephenville, you recognize the economic and, and tremendous community impact Tarleton has on that city. And while they do have a great presence here in Fort Worth, building a campus uh, where they're going to, first came to Chisholm Parkway, now is going to become a world-class campus. And what a tremendous impact that's going to have, not only on the district, but on the entire community of Fort Worth and Tarrant County. And, and I'm honored to be a part of it. And Dr. Dottavio, thank you very much for including me in all that you have so far and look forward to being a great partner in the future. So thank you very much. I wish to thank each of you again for coming today and sharing this excitement for the future of Tarleton State University in Fort Worth. Thank you, President Dottavio, Chancellor Sharp, Bill, Mayor Price, Councilman Jordan, Representative Goldman, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to participate in today's celebration. To Bill Doherty and the Walton Group, please know that your gener generosity to Tarleton State University will impact generations of students in the city of Fort Worth and Tarrant County, as well as the state of Texas. I am very pleased to say thank you on behalf of the university, our faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends. To our friends in the press, each member of the stage party will briefly be available to my left near the Tarleton State University Mobile Welcome Center truck and trailer. Please enjoy your day and a new beginning for Tarleton State University. Thank you very much.